right, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how to install Skyrim Together Reborn. So once you have Skyrim Together Special Edition updated to the newest version, which is currently 1.6, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and grab Mod Organizer 2. So we're gonna go down here to our browser. We're gonna go to this link here, this GitHub link, and we're gonna go there. We're gonna go down to the Mod Organizer 2.44 EXE. We'll just go ahead and click on that. All right, so once it's finished downloading, you can go up here and just click on this, and you can run from here. If it's not there, you can just go to your downloads folder and run it. So we just go ahead and run that. If Windows freaks out, go ahead and just say yes. And then we're just gonna walk through this installer real quick. Once you finish the installation, you can just leave this launch monitor checked. Go ahead and click finish. All right, and we'll come up with this new instance screen. We can just go over here and click on create new instance next. Go for portable instance. And we're just gonna click right here on Skyrim Special Edition. So here you just select whatever you want the instance to be. We're gonna just click next. And then we can go ahead and click finish. And this will launch up our new instance of Mono Manager 2 for Skyrim Special Edition. So the next thing we're gonna go and get is we're gonna go and get address library for SKSE. We're gonna go back to our browser and we're gonna go to this link here at Nexus Mods. Now in order to download things from Nexus Mods, you're gonna to have to make a Nexus Mods account. Super easy to do, you can do it in a couple minutes. Once you have that ready, you can go ahead and go here to files. We're gonna go here and click on Mod Manager Download. Go for slow download and it should automatically download in your mod organizer. So it's downloaded here under our downloads tab and we can go ahead and right click on it and go install. Come to this and we click okay. And there it is installed. And we can just click this check right here and it means it's enabled. The next thing we're gonna do is go grab Skyrim together, reborn. So with modernizer over here, we're just gonna go ahead and that's that we're gonna go back to our browser. We're gonna go to this link here. It's another Nexus Mods link. And then we're gonna go down here to files. And we're gonna go to mod manager download. It'll come up with a additional files required, but we've already installed those, so we're good. So go ahead and click download, click slow download, and it should download inside your mod organizer too. Once that's finished downloading, we can just go ahead and right click here and go install. And it'll come up with this screen. It'll say the content of data does not look valid. What we're gonna need to do is just click on this, this gray box here, click your way through it. It'll give you a bunch of warnings and tell you stuff. Click until it, that goes away. And then we're just gonna go ahead in here and just hit okay. And we're gonna go ahead and say ignore. And it'll install it. Alright, so it's it's installed. But now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to just to save ourselves some trouble, we're just go up here and click on the show open folder menu. We're gonna go in here, go to open mods folder. This will take us to our mods folder. We're gonna go ahead and just Go into Skyrim Together Reborn. So this is where we're gonna be. Go into Skyrim Together Reborn right here. Just so we can see this exe right here, this Skyrim Together.exe. Go ahead and just copy this address. And now we're gonna go here. Go ahead and just activate this real quick. It's activated. And we're gonna go here to edit. We're gonna go to the plus. We're gonna go add from file. And up here in this address bar, we're gonna go ahead and just paste that address we copied. Hit enter. It takes us here. And we wanna just click on Skyrim Together.exe and click open. And then down here we can hit apply. So then what we're gonna do is we're going down here to Skyrim together and we are going to go ahead and hit run. Now, the first time you run this, you're gonna get this screen, the select the game executable, which is skyrimse.exe, which for me is right here. So go ahead and click open and then we are good. The game should launch and we should be good to go.